Hey guys, this is Tech It Out, and today I'm going to be trying to edit 1080p video on the 2013 MacBook Air. So, let's get started. Okay, so as you can see, I have all the footage imported into iMovie here. This is actually the footage from my video I uploaded a couple weeks ago on how to replace the battery in this MacBook and how to upgrade the SSD. Both videos shared a lot of the same footage just to save time. So as you can see, we've got our B-roll shots to start it off. As you can see, it is extremely laggy though. It normally takes me a few tries to get the B-roll just right. So there may be a few times where it goes back. Normally I use the scrubbing feature for this, so I pause and then let's see. Yep, as you can see I started I started over with the camera about midway right here. That's more than midway. And then I can just split it because I always use the last one because typically if I mess up and start again then that means the previous one is is messed up so then I can just delete that from the timeline as you can see if it will play oh messed up again so it normally takes me a few tries to get the b-roll footage right um, we may We'll have to see how well the laptop actually handles the video, but if I am able to edit this video all the way through, that just goes to show how well optimized Apple's video editors are for their software and hardware. It doesn't take near the computing power to edit on a Mac as it does a Windows PC. For whatever reason, macOS is just so much better optimized. So I normally turn the volume down here, and most of the time, it's normally pretty well stabilized because I'm actually filming with the iPhone 8, which has really good uh, stabilization. Um, so I don't always stabilize the footage, but a lot of times I do. I can't tell what's going on here. It's being really slow. So it's... I don't know why. Okay, there we go. So you can see it is getting hung up. But it does seem like it's actually able to edit at least a little bit. It may handle 720p a lot better. I'm, I'm assuming it would. Um, so I'm just going to guess since I can't exactly see every frame, or we should actually be able to, let's see, so it does the frame by frame pretty well, so we'll back it up just a little bit, didn't mean to go that far, we'll start when the camera actually begins to, to go up. Okay, so we'll just move it over. Typically we'll make very small adjustments. A lot of times when I'm editing these, I zoom in really far on the timeline. And then I normally cut it off before the end so that it does not see, uh, there's a little vibration when I stop it from recording. When I hit the end record button on my phone, there's normally a little vibration, so I cut off the end. So. I actually wound up doing a voiceover on this project, I believe, on my iMac at home. So there won't be audio for all the different parts, but this is just to give you a general overview of how the MacBook can edit. Um, so you can't hear the audio, but it's extremely laggy. It's completely frozen at the moment, actually. Or the video is. I'm not sure why. But, uh, so here's the section where I, um, showed you what screws you need to take out of the bottom. So what I normally do here 
as a right click and uh, actually I haven't used that movie in a while I normally use a uh, Final Cut show speed editor here we are and then you just shrink it down until I don't know most of these clips I try to aim for 10, 10 to 8, 8 to 10 seconds 9 seconds that's good enough so here we are. Oh, and make sure to mute the audio or else it sounds like there's a little mouse in the house. You know. So it's not even showing what's going on at, at this point. Um, maybe after it renders, we will be able to see what's going on. So it seems like this is the point where I pulled the back off of the laptop, I'm assuming. It's really hard to edit when you can't see the frame very well. But at this rate, you may actually be able to edit 720p video. If it's editing this barely, it may be able to edit 720p. Um, either way, though, I would not buy this laptop strictly for the editing. So I'm not even entirely sure what this clip is, but we're going to skip over some just to save time. And I'm just going to make a very short video and we're going to export it and see how the, the MacBook plays it back because it's taking way too long for it to load everything at this rate. The plastic tool prop, pop this up. Do not recommend using a metal one so that you do not, so that you do not fry the board. So this clip does seem to be showing decently well. It's still laggy, but it's, it's working. Um, sometimes I don't make a voiceover. It depends really on the video. Some videos I use voiceover some like this one I record while I am recording the video um, so what I'm gonna do here is just cut out a lot of this audio or a lot of these videos and delete them um, and here's the ending and we're just gonna export it and see how well if it can export without crashing for that matter um, we're gonna export it as so a short video. So thanks so much video. for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and subscribe to my channel as well. No, no, no. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and drop a like as well as subscribe to my channel and go ahead and hit that bell like. So typically, it takes me a few tries to get the end of my video right as well. For some reason, I just stumble over my words a lot. I guess. Um, once again, MacBook's getting hung up. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and drop a like as well as subscribe to my channel. And go ahead and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comments below and I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. Again, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. And right at the end, I always add the spin out transition uh, just because I think it's cool and it kind of goes with the flow of my video so I normally add that right at the end uh, normally it takes me a second to get it timed right let's see if the laptop even keeps up with it though okay so we couldn't even see it so we're just gonna go ahead and export it to the desktop I'm not going to record it exporting the entire time um, I'm going to use better quality. I would always use better quality for compress. Next, and let's save it to the desktop. Okay, so the video has finished exporting. So it took about 25 minutes for a one minute video. So that's quite some time, but let's make sure that it actually did turn out as it is supposed to. Here we go. Looks good so far. I didn't put any audio at the beginning. But clearly it is able to export video. I wonder what the difference would be if we tried a lower resolution video. 
as you can see the sped up footage uh, exported perfectly the plastic tool pop pop this up audio is working I recommend using the metal one so that you do not so that you do not fry the board so thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it go ahead and drop a like I'll catch you in the next video. Yep, okay. So it seems to be working just fine. So as you can see, the MacBook Air can edit 1080p video. I would certainly not try editing 4K as 1080p was already slow as heck. Um, you may be able to edit a lower resolution and it be faster, but I was actually going to try to edit the entire video on this MacBook, but it was just way too slow. So that would have taken forever, and I was not going to spend the time to do that. So anyways, that wraps up this video. I would definitely not buy this MacBook just for video editing, but if you need it to just browse the web and do some light video editing, you might be able to get away with it. So anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and drop a like, as well as subscribe to this channel. Also hit that bell icon so you never miss any future videos. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comments below, and I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. Have a great day, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.